juice jacking. Something we're going to talk about and let you know why you need to know about this and how to protect your phone. This goes for more than just iPhone because this can also be done with other phones as well. This will allow a scammer to go ahead and take a lot of your sensitive information off of your phone from pictures, passwords, credit card information, so many different things. So make sure you watch the whole video so you know how to protect yourself and avoid this. It's very easy to avoid as long as you know all the facts we're going to go through in this video. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like tips, tricks, and fixes for iPhones and carrier conversations, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button and ring the bell. It goes a really long way and we thank you for it. With that said, let's go ahead and just get into this and tell you what you need to know. So here's a picture of basically an airport and you can go ahead and charge your phone here. There's two ways to do this. You could use the outlet or you could use the USB. USB is something you want to stay away from. Whenever you have the choice, you want to use the electrical outlet and plug it in with the three prongs, not with just the singular USB. Because what people can do is they can remove those USB ports they can add their own USB ports and put malware in there. And this is called juice jacking. They go through and take your information off of your phone once you plug it in and it either sends it to them or downloads it onto the drive itself. And then they either come back and get it or if it sends it to them, they'll come to their phone. So you never want to plug this in in a public place using USB only. Now, if you do travel a lot and you go to some places where they only have USB, there is a solution. There's something called a USB condom. I'll go ahead and put it in the description down below. If this is something you do and you can't avoid, I believe it's $10 for a pack of two and basically it clips on the one side of your iPhone cable and then it clips inside and even if it does have a juice jacking port it won't be able to do it because this basically protects your phone. So it's a pretty cool thing to have if you are going to be traveling a lot and plugging it in. You may have seen scams like this before because people have done it a lot with ATMs where they go through and go to a Mac machine or ATM, depending how you, what you call it. <laughs> and they basically put like a shell over it. That way when you scan your debit card or whichever you're using to get your money, it reads the information on it and then sends it to the person so they have your credit card information. This does happen. This happens a lot. In fact, I believe I was a victim of this recently. And for this to happen to me that is aware of this and it still happened to me, I'm uh, pretty, pretty confused how that happened, but basically one of my credit cards got stolen and I had the card and I had it in a place where no one could have got it unless someone duplicated it when I used it. So either someone wrote down my information when I bought something or there was some type of magnetic strip basically cloning my card, copying it, or just reading the information for online. So you do want to be very careful with this. Like I said, the best thing to do is just plug it in with the power and then you don't even have to worry. You should be all safe now and your phone should be protected with these tips. I really hope you enjoy these. If you do, make sure you smack that thumbs up. And I do have some more videos I really think you'll enjoy. Here's another one on iPhone malware. And thank you so much for the view.